Joining me now is the president of the NAACP branch in Charlotte, North Carolina, Kareen Mack. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I want to talk about the shooting, but last night you were specifically at these protests where there was a lot of frustration and outrage. What went on there? It was a very violent scene. Well, initially it was not a violent scene. At the end of the day, we have to remember one thing. African Americans have been killed consistently over the course of a year and a half. African Americans have been oppressed for hundreds of years. African Americans are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being killed. With no one being accountable for our deaths, with, with there being no person actually being tried and found guilty, and it looks as if our lives don't matter. So initially, we had a peaceful protest yesterday, in this, and eventually it did become a little bit more uh, rowdy. But what do you expect from a human being when consistently we're being killed and there's no accountability for our deaths? And that's the there problem. Were, My problem is that, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, there were 12 police officers injured. You had said earlier, you don't want your city to turn into a Baltimore. We know how tense things have been in that city. So what is it that you're looking for? What do you want the environment to be? Justice. Equality. That's all we ask for. We want to have a good quality of life. We want to be able to go home safely to our families as well. At the end of the day, for me, it's not about the cops versus black people. It's about black people being killed and oppressed and hurt every single day, being treated as if we're not citizens, we're not equal, we're not human. That's the case for me. I am more uh, concerned today about the Scott family. We're talking about all this stuff, but has anybody reached out to the Scott family to give them love, to give them support? That's my concern today. I can tell you, I know that NBC has reached out to the Scott family. While you were at the protests, were those police officers who were there acting inappropriately? It's not about inappropriately. When police officers come out in riot gear, that sends a signal to us that they're about to do us harm. We had a protest, which is our First Amendment right. There was no need for riot gear at that point. Well, and I had many were, conversations people, about the fact they should leave. People were throwing I'm rocks. To you. 12, 12 officers were injured, so it, it, was, it, it was a violent scene. Well, it did turn. It did turn eventually. Yes, it did. I'm not stating that it didn't, but I'm talking about the initial protest was a very peaceful protest. Yes, folk were upset. People were actually venting. No question about it. But that's their First Amendment right. At some point, it became violent. Yes. And I do not stand here and say that I support that in any way. And I don't think that the family does either. I think the Scott family is hurting, and they do not want the legacy of their dad to be this legacy. Absolutely not. Kareen, our deepest sympathies to the family and you. Thank you for all your work. I know at 9.30 this morning, the mayor of Charlotte will be speaking. We're going to take that press conference live. And uh, again, thank you for your work. Thank you for your thoughts this morning. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.